So a little bit of hitchhiking etiquette. Dress nicely. Shirt, spoon, <laughs> a vest. Um, I like to actually have, when I go hiking, I like to have a clean shirt with me just for hitchhiking. Also like to make sure that I wash before I go to the road because for some people it might be the first hitchhiker and I don't want to be the last one. Um, luggage should be kind of compact that you can take it on the lap or under the legs. Um, and I'm going to hold up my sign now and my thumb. There's a car coming. And I try to have uh, eye contact. Sometimes there is reflections and you cannot see through the window of the cars, but just assume where the eyes are. It's contact, it's communication. It's like, you know, your face showing who you are, that you're a kind person, that you can be trusted. All this can be seen from the face, I guess. And also, communication often happens in these little moments. Um, there's some interaction. So, then regarding the spot, very often bus stops are quite good. Something where cars have space to stop that it's safe to stop and that they are not in this traffic flow that lots of cars behind them. Um, there's a lot more about hitchhiking spots, good hitchhiking spots. Uh, sometimes you need to reach them by public transport. I usually park my bicycle somewhere when I'm leaving town. Um, yeah, and then etiquette inside the car. I like to ask where they are going, not saying immediately where, the, where I am going because I want to first check out the people um, and then yeah I'm, I'm trying to be helpful right like when you think that why do people give me a ride is um, because maybe they have a boring journey ahead yeah or they want to um, have company do something good so I try to be another pair of eyes on the road um, and two careful topics pleasant topics nothing controversial uh, another car coming so i will again oh this one is going to park here that's a different car so um being tidy sometimes i offer like some nuts and raisins these kind of things uh, when I feel that the car, the driver is tired, I also offer to drive. I have a driving license. I'm always sober when I hitchhike. Um, basically always sober anyway. <laughs> and yeah, I like to uh, also dress with a sarong in summer in general always. Um, let's see if they stop. Nope. It always works. Eventually it always works. That's a nice thing about hitchhiking. And also another reason to hitchhike is making better use of the existing cars that drive around anyway. So I think hitchhiking is a really good way of traveling. Um, you get to meet a lot of people, learn wisdoms, learn questions, learn about different perspectives of people's lives. And yeah, one car less. I guess. <laughs> Have safe journeys and um, if you are a bit afraid of it, you can use mobile phones to track your movements. You can communicate with others who are not hitchhiking with you. You can also hitchhike together with others. Two people is still a good number. With three people I might want to split the group. Most cars might not have space for three people. Or many don't. Okay, I continue. Hey, though.